so doilies here's the question to to pipe clean your dolls or not to pipe clean your dolls so as i just showed you here's one that doesn't have any any kind of pipe cleaner inside her so she's just a lovely squishy doll aren't you frida okay and then these these have got metal or pipe cleaners inside them and look you see they turn into actual people see actual you can articulate them so isn't that really interesting so your dolls can just really go places this is a a really lovely couple I've made. I'm going to make them a bed. <laughs> so what do we do? How do we do it? There's many ways that you can do it. I'm actually just experimenting with with this technique myself because I, I just thought of it very, very recently. So, for example, here is one I made earlier. So this inside there, can you see? in there is metal there that's metal so that looks a little bit like this but then it just really depends what kind of metal you use so i i like to have a go at jewelry making and have a have a go at that but it, it's just really down to trial and error and I've had this request lots and lots and lots with my doll videos so here is how we are going to do it First of all, it all depends on the size of your doll to start with, how you how you figure out the, the pipe cleaner situation. So fold the pipe cleaner in half. That bit's gonna go around the head, isn't it? And then just lay it. You're just gonna lay it over the top of your doll, like that. That's all that we're gonna do. And hey, that's a little bit there, maybe a little bit. And actually, look, this one actually fits more or less. More or less, I can just make it fit like that, see? Make it fit. It just depends on the size of your pipe cleaner and the size of your doll. So there's no hard and fast. I've just suggested a way of doing it, but you can find your own way of doing it. And then look, here's another pipe cleaner there and then we can do that how about that we can try that if on the other hand your dolly's really little you could try something like this some sort of wire there and then some sort of thing like this mm -hmm. fold it in half Twist it around like that, and then we can come back up, come back up the way as well. So we, we double back the arms like that, and then she's going to have a stronger arm joint. The arm joint's going to be stronger. Don't worry, that's not blood, it's just some I've just been eating berries. So then you think, oh, okay, well, that all looks quite interesting let's just try it it's actually a little bit more tricky it's a bit easier said than done so i'm just gonna attempt right okay well say we've got some jewelry making wire here and let's think right i would love to articulate the legs of my little doll so first of all she's got a little bit of stuffing in there and let's just see i'm gonna i'm just gonna push it through the question is, is it easier to put the metal in first, or the pipe cleaner, and then stuff, or stuff, then put the metal in? Well, that's just proving really difficult, because obviously the stuffing's getting caught. So let's try it the other way. Let's start with the legs. These pipe cleaners as well, they're really light. You know, they're, they're not very, they're not very thick. First of all, then, what we need to do is put both in, side into the body. Frida's been very patient, haven't you? Oh no, she's having a nap. Oh yeah, remember where we did our, our joint? That's, can you see there, where we did our 
Anyway, now that's causing a difficult passage. So I'm just going to open up that passage and start again. It just takes a bit of patience. But I just think it's worth playing with this technique and, and mastering it because then you can really bring your dolls to life. Hooray, now I've, I've pulled through the wire pipe cleaners and now I'm separating them out. One is there, one is there because we want them one to go down one leg and one to go down the other leg. Currently, I can feel there that two are going down the same leg. So, mm, da -da -da. There we go, one. Now I'm just going to push that through to the bottom. That's all good. That's, that's exciting, look. And then in it goes. And actually, look, the other one's just gone in naturally. There we are, that's, that's good. So now we get, remember that the knee joint goes that way. Look how exciting is that, people? We have, and then the, the pipe cleaner's up here, so then we can just have a bit of a, a body situation. You see? She's not stuffed, but we, we've got some human movement to it. But that's the first half. Again, it just depends how big you make your doll. The pattern here I've made for you to download is this size. I think these smaller dolls are just really, really cute, but, if you want to make it twice as big, just enlarge it on the photocopier. Now for the next bit, I would have said, why not just do a loopy the loop there? Why don't we do a loop the loop and do that? And why not as well? Well, I'm just intuiting. Just to give it a little bit more strength, why not just twist, twist that there like that? So that also it takes up more of the length and like that. I think that's a good idea. Let's have a go. First step is get it into the main bit. It's difficult because if you just do it with your hands, actually that worked. That worked. Now I want to go in there with the beak, separate out one of the ends and then stuff it to the end. Yeah, now this is getting difficult. This is, it's, it's awkward. It's fiddly, that's what it is. Okay. This is happening in real time, people. Okay, there's the tip where my thumb is. Mm -hmm. No, I've lost it. No, that's the leg. You just have to feel your way here. Now, where's my tip? There it is. Tip number one, let's see. Now the question is though, you see, is it one or two? It's two. Well, in a way, I just think, well, so what? If two want to go down one arm, this, then put two down one arm, and you're going to get a stronger arm. There you go. Finally got there. There. The arm's got a pipe cleaner. There's my elbow joint. Next. See, now my thing's all getting stuck. Now I need to find the other one, which is just here where my thumb is. Find the end. This is why this tool is invaluable. Imagine just trying to do this with a chopstick. There you go, right to the end. Amazing. We got there. And look, Dolly. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, it's, it's a teeny weeny bit of jointing. There's not, there's not so much strength there in the wire because it's just a light pipe cleaner. But that's really great, that's enough, isn't it? That's enough, you've got some movement in the doll. She's chilling out. And the next bit is to stuff it. Let's do that next. 